Monday, March 7th, and I have nothing clever to say to start this video. Yesterday was round two in the presidential elections here in France, and although this video is not actually going to be about politics, that is sort of the inspiration for this video and this week's topic, conversation, whatever. My knowledge of this conversation has largely come from conversations with other foreigners or coverage in the foreign press. Foreign to France, that is, so American, British, etc. English language press. I have gotten a decent amount of my information from France 24's English language coverage too, so... But there is a decidedly foreign bent to my understanding of this election. So Hollande won and American press made this out like some sort of doomsday scenario, so I'm kind of curious to see how it is covered going forward. But that's not what I want to talk about right now. I have been in Ghana during their Independence Day celebrations twice, though I don't really remember the first time. I felt a little better about this when I talked to my host home about it because her sense of the occasion was very meh. The kids do their thing with the marching, but otherwise, you know. This is the best explanation I've got for how I completely blanked on what I did the first time around. I of course remember this time not the least because it figured heavily into our discussions of our itinerary. We considered several different options, always with deference to figuring out how to see the things we wanted to see, but remain cognizant of where we would be on that day as we traveled around the country. So for the actual Independence Day, I was in Jubilee Square in Ho, which is the capital of the Volta region. We watched the school kids march and listened to the music and kind of absorbed the general carnival festival atmosphere of the day. Being that my major metric for comparison is American Independence Day, it was kind of strange how little fanfare there was after the marching in the day. Like, there was daytime marching and then everyone just kind of went back to their lives and okay, that was fun. <laughs> Anyway, so back to how strange it is to be a foreigner in these kinds of settings. Even in the US, I have feelings of displacement during these kinds of highly nationalistic moments because I have such negative feelings about nationalism as a concept and phenomenon. But finding myself in the heart of these moments where I am truly an outsider is even weirder. In an odd way, it almost makes me long for the American context because it makes me feel more capable of commentary. Because the thing is, I don't really think of myself as an expat. I'm not in France to stay, I wasn't in Ghana to stay. At the end of the day, I really am still an American, even though I don't entirely know what that means. And all of these experiences leave me with an appreciation for those settings where I am a part of the group, where I do have that belonging, regardless of how complicated my feelings about nationalism still are, because it is in those settings that I have the most right to speak. I feel perfectly legitimate in critiquing American nationalism, commenting on American events, because I am an American. I do not feel that same sense of authority or right or whatever in other settings because they don't belong to me. This is kind of amusing because the core problem that I have with nationalism is this idea of isolating people into somewhat arbitrary categories of belonging. Anyway, now I'm doing that thing that I do sometimes where I turn this into my own personal therapy session and then I say, hey guys, here's this thing that I've been thinking about. Can you like make it make sense for me? Okay, thanks, bye! So, you know, on that note, Brittany, here's this thing that I've been thinking about. Please make it make sense for me. Okay, thanks, bye! Kidding. Mostly. Have you ever been in another country for their major events like Independence Day or elections? If so, what has that experience been like for you? Is this something that you've thought about at all with regards to your upcoming time in Germany, since obviously you will be there for things like this, as you will be there for an entire year. Brittany, I will see you tomorrow.